Hello guys, I'm going to do a tutorial explaining how to show a ERC721 token in Unity if the user owns it in their wallet. So I did make a YouTube video on how to make an NFT game. It's very short, so make sure you watch this before this video. And what I show you is how to display ERC1155s, which is also the same way you would do it with the 20s, but with 721s, it's a little bit different. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have the Chainsafe SDK installed, latest version, which I will put a link in the description. So make sure you install that. Import that package into Unity. And now you got everything that you need. Make sure you have Newtonsoft JSON, which you should. So what I want to do is display an object if they own that NFT, that ERC721. So I'm going to create a simple cube. I'm going to put it right in front of our camera, which would be our player. So I'm going to want to display this cube if we own the NFT. So I'm just going to make it a different color so it's easier to see. There we go. So I'm going to deactivate the cube. So there's one script in particular that we want to look at. And it's the ERC721 owner of script. Owner of example. So I actually created my own script, just added a few lines off of this script here to make it do what I want it to. So this is the script that we need. I'm going to import the script that I created. And I'll show you the changes that I made, which is just a few simple changes. I created public variables, I mean a public string for my token ID and contract, so we could type that in into the inspector. Public game object, which will be our game object that we will deactivate, but in this case, I want to activate it. So everything else is the same. We're gonna add our string account, player prefabs, get string, which will be our saved account. And then here, make sure you add that. I will also uh, provide this script into our comments down below. And then here, I added this. This is important. This will show the NFT if the user owns it inside their wallet, inside their account. So those are the only changes you have to make on this script. So save that. So you could drag this script anywhere. I'm going to drag it onto this terrain. Oops, that's not the script. This is the script here. So you're going to want to put your token ID and then the contract address of the NFT. And then I want to display this object here, so I'm going to drag this into the inspector here. And then you're going to want to drag in one of the sample scenes from the package, which would either be wallet login or web login, depending on what you're using. If you're using desktop, use wallet. If it's for the web, use web login, which I'm going to use wallet login. So make sure that's the first scene of the game. So here's the NFT I own and want to display inside our game. If you scroll down, you can see the details here. So this is our contract address and our token ID, which we need. And it's an ERC721. You could also find the contract address and token ID up here as well. So make sure you put those credentials in, which I already have. So I actually meant to 
change this to true inside our script. So now let's go test. So make sure you have MetaMask installed to your system. You're going to sign in. And then it'll bring you to the next scene and then boom. It now displays our cube, which would be our NFT that we own in our wallet. And if I don't own that NFT, then the cube won't be displayed. So there you have it. That's how you display 721s. If this tutorial helped you out, please subscribe, give me a like, and thank you for watching.